Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today let's um, talk about what's in my bag for my baby and what's in my bag for me for labor and delivery, right? And postpartum. So, oh, that's too loud, baby. Can you lower that? Can you lower that, please? Okay, so before I, you know, started packing um, baby's bag and my bag, I contacted the hospital and I asked them for um, a printout that they emailed me that told me what they provided. So for baby, they provide like everything. They give you um, Pampers diapers. They use the sensitive kind. They use um, Pampers wipes, the sensitive kind. You know, they give you white onesies, white t-shirts. They give you receiving blankets. Um, they give you, you know, little hats for um, your baby. If it's a girl, it has the hat with the bow in the front. You know, they even give you like... Um, to sleep sacks, right? So they give you those things for your baby. So I did not pack any of those things. The only thing that I'm probably going to pack in addition um, to what I already have, which is, you know, basic clothing, I am going to pack um, um, water wipes. That's my preferred brand. I've been using water wipes since my son, and I like those. They even also provide, you know, Soap, shampoo, comb, a brush, um, body moisturizer for your baby. And they use, um, it's not a vino, although I like a vino and I prefer a vino. Um, they use, I think, the Baby Organics brand for those things. And they use the Cetaphil brand um, for those things I just mentioned. So I have no, I, no um, quorum, I have no issue with either one of those brands, so I'm gonna go ahead and utilize those things, okay? No need for me to bring my Avino stuff that I have at home, so we'll utilize that. As far as um, mommy is concerned, they give you so much stuff as well. You know, they give you things such as the breast pump. You can rent the breast pump. All the devices um, um, that go with the breast pump, they give that to you. You can have those. They're not going to, you know, keep them and sterilize them. You can have all the tubes, all the pumps, the bottles, everything that comes with it. Um, you have those. They give that to you. And they use the Modella brand. But the actual pump itself with the air, they rent those at no cost. So I'm not going to bring my breast pump. Um, they also give you... Um, Ointment, if you have hemorrhoids, ointment, if you have any tearing, they um, give you numbing spray like Dermaplast if you need it. They give you um, pads, the big thick pads, okay? They give you those. Um, they give you, let me, I'm trying to think, I forgot to bring my paper with me as I'm doing the video. But um, they give you those mesh, um, white mesh undies. I think they're comfortable. I'm fine with them. Um, I probably will bring, you know, a pair of undies um, to go home with with my going home outfit because I'm wearing black tights and the white mesh may show through. So I brought black undies just in case. Um, they give you, um, what is it called? Um, they give you like those cooling pads for down there, you know, the ones that you um, um, twist and break and then um, it becomes really cold and you can put down there in your undies. They give you those. They give you cold packs for your nipples, for your breasts if you need them. Um, they give you these little trial lanolin um, nipple creams. Um, let me see what else they give you. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So as you can, you know, see, they give you a whole lot of stuff. So I'm not going to bring any of those things, me personally. You know, I'm not going to overpack and bring certain things because I have a specific preference. I'm going to be there for two days, so I'll use whatever they provide. And I will show you, based on that list of things they give for baby and mommy, I'm going to show you, you know, what I have packed 
for the both of us. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. Um, and as I sh go through some of the things that are in my bag, as I show you some things, if I have forgotten something, feel free to, you know, leave it in the comment box so that whoever else may be watching this video, they'll be able to um, think about whether or not they want to include those things within their bag. This is my third baby. So um, I've been around this rodeo a few times. So I kind of know what I need and what I don't need. You know, I thought about bringing like my... Um, my essential oil diffuser. I thought about bringing that. I have brought that in the past. It wasn't, you know, of great benefit, although it was good to have, but it really didn't do anything. So that was just an extra bulky item I decided not to um, bring with me. Um, let me see what else. In the past, I also, you know, brought my laptop. Um, I don't know. I may or may not bring my laptop this time. Last time I brought it, because I thought I would need to entertain myself, you know, and I brought some DVDs with it and I brought like a book. I did not watch not one DVD. I did not read not a line or a sentence or a word in that book. So I'll just utilize my phone. If I want to hear an audio book, I'll just utilize my audio amp app. If I want to watch a movie, I'll use my Netflix app. I have direct TV. So if I want to, you know, watch any of my recorded shows, pre-recorded shows that are on DVR, I can go ahead and do all that on my phone. So there was no need for me to bring any um, excess items. So again, hopefully you find this video of interest and of benefit. This is something different from my channel. I normally do homeschooling and after schooling videos. Um, so this is just something that's a little bit different. But I hope that um, you enjoy it. So... I'll go ahead and I'll start off with the baby items and then um, I'll go ahead and um, do what's in mommy's bag. Here we go. So this is literally everything that I packed for baby. And that's because, like I said, the hospital provides like everything. So I just packed up water wipes, a little pacifier, the one that you can kind of put your hand behind, you know. Um, I packed up this little um, outfit here. And the reason why I like this one specifically um, is because around the head, it stretches, you know, just in case the baby's head is a little bigger. This allows the um, outfit to go, you know, right over the head very easily. And the size is zero to six months. And then I liked it because it also had, you know, um, these as well. So these little mittens that can, you know, go over a baby's hand so that he, um, the baby doesn't scratch himself, okay? This here will be the baby's going home outfit. And I like these kind of snap-on shirts that so that I don't have to really, you know, keep putting the shirt over baby's head. I can snap on, snap off, and keep it moving. And normally with the onesies that I buy and things of that nature, um, all the baby's outfits from like zero to six months, I also like to make sure that the onesies can button or, z or unzip and zip from the bottom. So if you have to change diapers or anything like that, you know, you don't have to unzip or unbutton from the top. Baby gets cold. No, you can do it from the bottom, you know, change diaper, the top part, you know, baby's still nice and warm, and then you can change diapers like normal. So I like those type of um, onesies for baby. And I just brought an extra... Um, outfit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so like I was saying, I wanted to bring an extra outfit, um, just in case we had to stay in the hospital one extra day. Um, with my daughter, when she was born, she had a mild case of jaundice and, um, they had to do some type of, um, treatment for her. And we ended up staying in the hospital for two extra days. So because of that experience, just in case it happens, I decided to go ahead and bring one extra outfit for baby and one extra outfit 
for me. So this will be that extra outfit if we were to need it. And this size is newborn. I already know how much my baby will weigh. And my baby will weigh about six pounds and between eight and thir eight and 11 ounces. So that will definitely fit. Um, and well, the baby will definitely fit newborn outfits. As you can see, baby's bag is extremely light. It's um, It only includes all the necessary items because again, the hospital provides everything else that you, everything else that you can think of, you know, receiving blankets. Um, they give you onesies, t-shirts, hats, diapers, wipes. Um, they even give you, um, they even give you um, swaddle, um, What's it called? Sleep sacks. Yeah, they're called sleep sacks. They give you like two or three of those. You know, one for newborns and one that'll fit for like um, baby um, zero to three months. I also bring an extra bag because like I said, they give you lots and lots of goodies. So um, this extra bag will just go in here so that I can utilize for those extra goodies that they give me as mommy and that they give baby. We're gonna start off with snacks, food. Guys, when you go into um, labor and delivery, they tell you you can't eat. And you can't eat until after you deliver. So if you are in labor for 10 hours, 13 hours, a whole day, it runs to the next day, you can't eat anything. You're just chomping on ice. So, after um, delivering, I am hungry. So I packed up snacks. And my husband also knows that once I deliver, you know, go and get me some food. And he already knows what food to get me. He's going to go get me some Jamaican um, food. Okay. I need my plantains. I need my rice and beans with cabbage. And I need my brown stew chicken. Okay. And a Jamaican um, champagne soda. Or if they have the Jamaican pineapple soda, I'll be okay with that. <laughs> but I've created, you know, this little bag full of snacks, guys. All types of snacks. It, um, gum, candy, both hard and soft candy. Crackers, um, Chex Mix, some breakfast bars, um, the chewy kind, um, some popcorn, and some Pringles, okay? So each child has their own bag, and my husband also has their own bag. Next thing I'm going to show you is, um, this is a portable charger here. Um, and if we bring laptops or anything like that, or um, which we're probably not, but if anyone has you know, a cell phone or a camera that needs to be charged, this will suffice. And this here is an extension cord. I just wrapped it with some saran wrap. But um, normally you don't have a plug next to your bed, so I made sure I have an extension cord with me just to make sure. Um, this one has three, um, one and two in the back. So this can charge up, you know, this here if it needs it and two additional items, okay? So think about that. When you go in, if you decide to do a tour of um, your room prior to labor and delivery, kind of pay attention to the outlet situation and see how close they are to the bed. But again, normally, at least in the hospitals I've been to um, with my um, children, I never had one near my bed. So, yeah. This here is just a mini suitcase. Um, and it's not even a suitcase, like a mini briefcase. Um, you can put a laptop in it. You can put paperwork in it. Um, for work or anything like that, but I have used this for, you know, all three of my children and um, I keep all the paperwork that the hospital gives me. So any documentation they're giving me that I need to keep um, on in, within my records or I need to reconcile it when I get home or if they give me anything to just, you know, look over like brochures or anything or if I buy a magazine or whatever, all of our paperwork, hospital paperwork, the birth certificate applications and things of that nature all that goes in here, okay? And then I always bring a notebook just in case I have to write something, um, a to-do list if I'm you know, remembering 
something I need to do or something I don't want to forget, or if, um, the nurses or doctors are telling me different things or um, the pediatrician comes in and tells me different things. Again, I write all that within my notebook. And of course, I have a pen and highlighter available. Um, of course, at the hospital, you can ask for a pen or a highlighter or whatever, but I just like to have these things available to me so that I don't have to worry about asking um, for a pen or anything like that. So definitely, guys, you need something um, to keep all your paperwork in. You don't have to have something like this. You can use a manila folder. You can use a two-pocket folder. You just need something to put all your papers in and bring a notepad and a pen just in case you need to jot down some information and or phone numbers. I also brought with me, this is something you hang over the door. I normally hang this over the bathroom door in the hospital and then I bring a hanger. Um, I don't like wire hangers. I don't even like plastic hangers, but I'm not going to bring my nice hanger to the hospital. <laughs> so um, I just brought this plastic one. And again, this hangs over the bathroom door. One hanger here so that I can put my robe on. Um, I can put my robe on the hanger or the outfit or the, um, the cloth piece of clothing that I'm wearing for the day. I'll have that hung up as well. Um, in terms of my hair, I did get my hair done in twist. However, I need to make sure that my hair is protected at night. So this is my hair bonnet. It's a reversible um, hair bonnet. I have a few of these. And it's big enough to um, be able to hold all the twists that I have in my hair. This here is just a headband. If I want to wear my hair in a high pony or anything like that, and I want to wear a headband, I have that option. And this is just a um, satin lined um, big shower cap that will be able to hold um, my hair again, which is in braids or um, twists. So right now it's in twist. Um, they do provide shower caps at the hospital, but they're normally those thin clear plastic ones. And because of the hairstyle I have, it's not gonna hold unless I put like a plastic bag over it or something so this is big enough here are some basic black slippers guys um, I thought about buying some cute fancy slippers but I said nah I'm gonna use what I have normally I buy two slippers every year um, the day after Thanksgiving so these are from last year and I was going to throw them away and I said hey and, the, and I'm gonna throw them away because you know the bottoms of them they have no more cushion left um, so I said, instead of me throwing them away, I'll go ahead and use them while I'm in the hospital and then I'll throw them away after that period of time. You also may want to consider getting shower shoes. I do have some pink shower shoes, um, that I keep in my car anyway, and I keep them in my car because, um, when I go get my pedicures, I often forget, um, to bring, um, slippers. So I normally keep those cheap plastic shower shoes that you can get from the dollar store within my car. So I will utilize those shower shoes. And then once I get at the hospital, again, I'll throw these slippers away along with those shower shoes. I'll just go ahead and ditch, ditch them. In terms of makeup, guys, you really don't have to um, bring makeup at all. However, I wanted to bring makeup just in case, you know, I'm taking pictures or we decide to take pictures at the hospital, I just wanted to be prepared. In the past, with my two pregnancies, I did utilize my makeup. So I just basically, you know, have my Fix It Max spray. I have some blush. I have my MAC um, skin finish here with a, um, a makeup brush, um, Kabuki brush. I use this for my blush and I also use this to put on the um, powder too. I also brought some foundation. Right now I'm loving this Fenty Beauty lip gloss. I have like two or three of them. I carry them in different purses. <laughs> um, just in case I want to have a smell good when I'm going home, I have a little um, perfume roll here for my eyebrows, you know, the beauty blender, some chapstick, 
and um, ear swabs and also some cotton swabs. And the cotton swabs, I need those because I use them to put on my toner. And my toner is normally from It Cosmetics um, or I use just um, aloe vera juice or aloe vera, aloe vera gel, either one. In here, I just have my um, hygiene products, you know, your toothbrush, toothpaste, floss, um, body wash, um, facial wash, facial moisturizer, some body um, lotion, and things of that nature. As far as my body wash is concerned, I use this. I use Purity for my face, the facial wash, and I also use Purity um, as the body wash. And both of them are unscented, which I really like. I also am going to carry some of these here. Um, I do like the, um, I, don't know if it's, I don't know if it's pronounced nubby or newbie. I think it's nubby. But um, I do like this one here. I used, I used in the past the lanolin ones, but I did not like it. Um, these right here. I thought were just fine. I did not want to get the reusable ones because I didn't feel like, you know, having to wash them and buying a whole bunch just in case I didn't wash them. So I went ahead and got the disposable ones here. And this here is nipple cream. In the past, I have used the lanolin. I had no problem with it, but I just decided to go ahead and use something different. So for this one, I'm going to use Mother Love Nipple Cream. So we'll see how that one works. Something else that I like to use is this um, Rose Petal Rose Water Spray. I use this for everything. I use this for body spray. I use this as a facial toner or, you know, if I feel like I need to be re-energized, I spray it on my face. I use it on my hair. I um, mix it with other products for um, moisturizing my hair Um like right now, since I have on um, Twist, what I'll do is I'll mix some of this solution with some aloe vera juice and spray it, you know, on my scalp between my Twist. I use this for like everything. This here is like a belly band compression garment. So right after birth, I'm going to wrap my stomach in this, wrap this around my waist. And I'm going to wear this for at least, you know, the first month. Um... And I got this off of Amazon. There are so many different kinds that you can get. Um, if this one is uncomfortable, I'll just return it and get another type. But um, it seems like it would be comfortable. It got some really, really good reviews. But again, um, I have done this with both of my children. After I... Um, have the baby, I just, you know, wrap my belly and it helps contract everything and my belly goes down really quick. Now, although they give you those mesh, white mesh panties at the hospital, um, I don't have any problem with them. I think they're comfortable. They're stretchy. They work great. However, I did bring an extra pair of um, large black undies, cotton. They're also very comfortable. Um, so that I can wear on my way home or on my, um, you know, yeah, when I go home. <laughs> In terms of my going home outfit, I'm just going to wear some black slacks, um, tights, and a sweater. It is winter time, you know, here in Texas. So I just got a big oversized sweater. Got this off Amazon. I really like this sweater here because... It opens up to breastfeed all right here on the side. Pop that nipple out and breastfeed, and it opens up on each side. So I thought that was really, really cute. While I'm in the hospital, um, this is just another outfit that I brought here. A pair of black tights with a dress. This here is if, you know, I have to stay in the hospital for an additional day for whatever reason, this is what I'm gonna wear. And again, I like this also because all you have to do is pop out your breast and breastfeed. Same thing for here.
These are like breastfeeding dresses. And I got that off of Amazon as well. This here is for after delivery, after I take that first shower. This is what I'm normally, not normally, but this is what I am going to wear those two days that I'm in the hospital, okay? So my first day, we'll wear this after that first shower. The next day, you know, I'll wear this again, and then I'll wear my, to, my going home outfit when we're getting ready to leave. This here um, is like a, it's a long t-shirt. It is super, super comfortable. I love the lilac color, and I like the fact that it has buttons so I can remove it and breastfeed. And I also got this from Amazon. Really, really cute. I have had these since my um, toddler, my baby girl, who's now two years old and five months. I've had these ever since her birth. So I got these from Amazon. I have a gray one and a light blue one, and I have a pink one. And these are breastfeeding shirts. You just pull it down and breastfeed. And these are um, motherhood. The brand is motherhood. And they're um, clip on and clip off um, um, breastfeeding bra. So I have this black and white stripe. I have one in white and I also have one in black. So I went ahead and brought two of those and two of these, um, nursing shirts as well. And my goal for these, I'm going to wear these nursing bras, you know, every day. However, if I don't feel like wearing this outfit here, or for some reason blood gets on it after that first day, then I'm just going to wear some long, comfortable slacks. I'm going to wear, you know, this um, um, breastfeeding bra, and then I'm going to just wear my robe around it, you know, because you're going to have to keep popping out that breast to breastfeed your child all throughout the night when the nurses come in and out and in and out. So I might as well be comfortable and go ahead and sleep in some slacks, sleep in that maternity bra, and have my robe so I can easily have my breast accessible to baby. Here is my robe. I got this from Macy's a few years ago. Extremely, extremely comfortable. This cotton is ridiculously comfortable, guys. It goes right above the knee or right at the knee. I have this in purple, um, eggplant purple, and I also have it in black, but I only brought the purple one. This here is just a very simple black, thick um, sweater. It goes a little bit past the... Um, waist sits right on the hip and again it's, it is winter time so if I have you know um, depending on what I'm wearing when I leave the hospital I'll have my sweater or if I get really cold in the hospital for, for whatever reason because the hospitals are ridiculously cold and you don't have an individual thermostat within your room unfortunately so if I get cold I'll have my sweater with me and of course I have to bring this who can go without their breast friend <laughs> <laughs> so I'll definitely bring that with me. And finally, my pillow. I cannot leave my pillow, okay, with my silk pillow case, just in case my hair bonnet falls off. But the hospital gives you pillows, but they are not comfortable. So if you decide to bring your own pillow, I think that's a really good idea. Bring your own soft plush pillow and then put a non-white pillowcase on it so that you can easily differentiate which one is yours and which one is the hospital. So here is just a quick overview. I know uh, what I showed you may have seemed like a lot, but it's really not a lot, guys. These are the essentials. This is all I um, thought that I would need in order to be comfortable and have a successful um, postpartum experience at the hospital. Okay, um, like I said in the beginning of my video, before you decide to go and pack up your life or pack up so many items for yourself and baby, call the hospital. Find out what they provide. And if they provide it for you, don't bring it unless you just have to have it and it's like life or death and like you 
really, really need to have this thing, all of the hospital provides you 10 of them. You want a specific brand or a specific feel or a specific material. If that's you, then hey, no problem. Do whatever makes you comfortable because you're going to be very uncomfortable for the next few weeks, maybe even month or two. Um, but again, find out what they provide. Try to be minimal in what you bring um, to the hospital and only bring what you may consider to be necessary. One thing that I did not show you on camera is um, a, a coin bag. So we made like um, $5 and change in, in quarters, and then we just put them in a little plastic baggie, and um, that's within my husband's um, bag. My husband has his own book bag of his things that he needs for the next you know, two days. My children have their bags for, of the things they need for the next two days. They're all going to be in the hospital with us. The hospital has a hotel within it. Um, so they're going to be within that hotel on a different floor and they're going to sleep there and they'll just come visit me and baby, you know, all throughout the day. So that's how we're doing it. Hopefully this video was a benefit. Hopefully you found it to be of value. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment box below. Remember, I'm not perfect. I may not have showed you every single thing that you may consider to be necessary, but hey, to each its own, this is what I consider to be necessary for my um, two days within the hospital. And um, yeah, that's about it. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, you make it a great day. Great day. Be blessed. Bye.